So recently, you made a post on IG talking about why you decided to leave the music industry, right? Yeah. And switch over to real estate. This was a really powerful message, and I felt that that's what got me to reach out to you for the interview because there are things within the entertainment business in general that I don't think is spoken about enough. Can you share like what led you to to post that? Um. Yeah. Without saying too much, I mean, I have a friend that I started working on some stuff with, and we had discussed like doing it together. And it's like, you know, let's say you really want to start like a lemonade stand, right? And I'm a guy that sells lemons, and you call me and you're like, "Hey, I want to start a lemonade stand," and I'm like, "That's cool, but I just I don't have time. I'm selling these lemons at a grocery store, and people are buying them, and I'm making money, and I really like I'm not trying to get into that." This dude I did business with, he talked me into doing it. He was like, let's do this together. We'll do it together. We'll be a team. I want to add to your stuff. People want to hear what you got to say. Let's do something together. So I said, fuck it. I, I packed up all my shit. I went over, you know, to hang out with them, whatever. We, you know, we did what we had to do. And fast forward, this dude ended up just kind of running with it without me. Right. So it's like, Let's say in the is this music business related? It was music business related, but okay. Got let's you. say with this lemonade stand situation, let's say I'm like, fuck it. You know what? I'm gonna drive an hour out. I'm gonna pack up my whole grocery store. I'm gonna bring the sugar. I'm gonna bring the lemons, the cups, everything. We'll meet there. I'm gonna help you get this started, bro. I know you want to do this. I know one day you want a grocery store. I've been doing this a long time. Let me help you out with this. And then it's like I come, I set everything up. They make a ton of money, and then they don't split it. And I'm like, damn, bro, I just put all this work. I spent a whole day helping you. And it's like, you're just going to run with this shit and not even communicate with me. Like, I didn't need to spend time. I spent time because you made it like we're going to do something together that we both get a lot from. And instead, it's just like I did something for you that you got a lot from. So, wow. and, and again, it's the same instance. I, it's not that this guy's a bad guy. He's one of the best guys I know. You know, it's, he's not a bad guy. But we live in a world that says, like, you don't have enough and you need more followers and more material shit. And and it's just like I've learned that less is more, you know. So it's like I think a lot of times it comes at a cost. And in this situation, you know, I, I felt a ways because I'm like, bro, you're like a, you're such a good dude. It's like you didn't have to do that. You could have just asked me to help you and I would have helped you. You didn't have to, like, manipulate the situation like you wanted to do something together to just do it on your own. You could have just asked me to help you. And I would have been like, all right, bet. So it just made me think a lot about a lot of things. And I think so many people are like that, where it's like, you know, they'll compromise in any which way to get the following. And I did it too, bro. I wanted to work at Hot 97 and and around celebrities because I'm like the whole world, how cool would that be to be around celebrities and to be around, you know, music and, and to work in that industry? People kill for that. But then I got into it and I'm like, wow, this is like a lot of these celebrities, you don't even see them on the regular. And the ones that, that are cool, you know, they're more just hanging out with their people. And it's like the people that are interactive are just mixy and they have a lot of insecurities and they compromise for it with their, with their status or their title or their whatever, their position or their money. And, and I think, you know, money is really fucked up in the sense of like, like there's a reason lottery winners always end up fucking their life up. And it's because all the money in the world isn't going to bring you happiness, man. You got to find that within yourself. And unless you're challenged to find that within yourself, a lot of time you're able to just lie to yourself and say, well, you know, I don't feel happy, but I just bought a Bentley. So, you know, it's like, I guess let me just go buy another Bentley. And, and like, you know, and it's like you're always chasing the next high. Yeah. And it's so sad to see when really, really good people, you know, are just so consumed by that shit. And that's why I posted right. that, because it's like, bro, I do real estate now and I and it, I can still listen to music every day. I still talk to a ton of artists. I still talk. I, I'm still doing podcasts like I'm so happy with with what I get to do with music. And I make a shit ton of money doing real estate and I'm happy with that. And it's like. I don't have an emotional connection to real estate, so it's my job, and it brings me joy that I'm able to do it because and focus on the job and not make it personal. And and you know, right. I think with music, like you know, obviously, bro, being on Hot 87 is like people that looked at me like I was a loser when I was a kid are like, wow, he's the coolest guy in the world. And it's like really easy to go mess with a girl you probably shouldn't mess with because you can, but you have you don't vibe. 
you know, and and that's why I put that post up. 